Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of December 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. Aquarius, uh, in this reading we'll see uh, what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, what is the mutual energy between you and this person, okay? So let's get started now. <clears throat> we'll also pull out some love notes from the universe. So... So we have is 10 of wands, then we have is 9 of pentacles, and we have is the magician, then we have page of pentacles, then we have is the fool, and we have is 4 of swords, mutual energy is out of king of swords and 5 of swords, okay. Uh, let's pull out the love notes, Aquarius, let's pull out the love notes, although we are going to discuss the love notes at the fag end, okay. nice right so aquarius you may be dealing with an aries you may be dealing with gemini virgo okay uh, there is a strong presence of uh, gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn okay if the sign pops up all the better let's not remain fixed on the signs so aquarius Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and Magician for you. Aquarius, you are right now feeling very happy about yourself. You are right now feeling very abundant. You are attracting monetary abundance your way. You are becoming this powerful soul. And you know why you are becoming this pow powerful soul? Why you are attracting abundance your way? Because you have dropped all the mess from your life you have stopped entertaining any kind of people who only were part of your life to create mess in your life okay you know now who deserves your attention who doesn't deserve your attention okay you know that you have reached a level where you spend time with someone and you quickly realize like enough this is not the person who deserves my attention i'm not going to meet this person ever again i'll not invest my energy in this person again okay whether it is a friend whether it is a colleague whether it is um, whether it is your family members i don't see you cutting out people but i see you distancing yourself from them for some of them, in extreme cases, yes, you have cut out people from your life, but you are making some conscious efforts to distance yourself. With the Nine of Pentacles, what I'm sensing is if you're single right now, you're damn absolutely enjoying your singlehood. Okay, you are absolutely enjoying the abundance you're coming your way. And probably because you are investing uh, your energy so much in yourself, okay, you are also attracting a lot of abundance you you probably are sensing increase in money for you okay your income has increased you probably are finding a lot more energy inside you to do multiple things in your life okay so probably you are working on your body you're working on your uh, different sources of income you're working some of you are going back to school some of you are planning to go back to school you're uh, you're starting in that direction you're doing multiple things you're buying assets for yourself okay or at least you're planning to do those things in year 2022 you have set your goals for 2022 and you're highly highly optimistic about those goals and you are like surprised like because i am single and i'm investing so much of energy in myself 
okay if i can attract so much of abundance then for so many years i literally wasted time in wrong relationships and wrong people maybe i shouldn't have wasted so much of time that is what you are thinking but trust me whatever time was spent with any of your past people sort of enlightened you to <laughs> it was an enlightening experience aquarius enlightenment about your self worth enlightenment about about self awareness enlightenment about how you should respect yourself okay and probably all these lessons come through some harsh learnings only okay so that is one of the reason why you had to go through these grilling experiences yes and on the top of it there was some past life karma that was that that was carried forward in this lifetime okay and what i'm sensing and usually aquarius i'll i'll let you i'll tell you that when it comes to aquarius zodiac sign for majority for majority you experience a uh, you experience a lot of struggle in your initial years or maybe till 30s you experience a lot of struggle okay 30 35 after that your life starts blooming after that your life turns out to be very positive okay for aquarius that is that is sort of a, i would not i don't i want to say it's a trend no that's that is something uh, i have read it uh, i have read it at many places some astrological reasons are there for that okay so yes the initial years were lot more struggle as compared to others okay if you were comparing yourself with others then you will find yourself struggling a lot you will you will find that everything is getting delayed in your life a lot and you were absolutely not understanding what was the reason okay you had accumulated lot of unnecessary burden in your life probably you were busy maybe aquarius growing up you were being told that if you have to live in this life if you have to live in this world you will have to please people around you if you have to make money you will have to please people around you if you have to uh, grow up around people you will have to learn to compromise and with that thought process with uh, maybe some of you grew up in a strong patriarchal setup okay where where uh, where you never received the kind of attention that you deserve or you should have uh, you should have received okay you never received the kind of respect and uh what whatever you deserve you did not receive that in in that patriarchal setup or the kind of society or the kind of environment you grew up okay and you always ended up compromising your own needs and your wants for the sake of uh, making other people happy okay and one of the reason what triggered you to attract uh, to uh, one of the reason what triggered you to become so self independent and so self reliant on yourself is because people were never there to to help you out whenever you needed them okay people were always there to point out fingers at you even irrespective of the fact that you were always a giver okay they were always there to point out fingers at you and you have learned this in a very harsh manner aquarius that who is going to be the best friend of yours is that is going to be you who is going to be your best lovers that that is going to be you to yourself okay you're going to be your best friend to yourself you're going to be your best lover to yourself you're going to be your best a uh, take care a uh, take uh, yeah uh yeah <laughs> you're going to take care of yourself okay no one else is going to no one else is going to fill up that place for you okay uh having said so you haven't stopped believing in love you are an ardent fan of love and love relationships you strongly believe in marriage institution but those kind of experiences made you highly self reliant uh, the kind of experiences you had in your life made you highly uh made you highly independent okay and that is one of the reasons why you are so such an hard worker and why you are attracting so much of abundance right now because people have always pushed you in a corner okay people have always you were left with no choice but to depend on yourself you were left with no choice but to but to make yourself happy to take care of yourself to look after yourself okay to make money for yourself of course making money is is a self job but but there was there was no one to guide you in the past you always felt very lonely 
okay and now you are like you're expert at handling your own life you're expert you in fact you have started loving your singlehood okay you're like i i bloody don't care right now whosoever is whosoever wants to be a part of my life you be a part of my life but you be a part of my life on my terms and conditions if you don't want to be a part of my life the exit doors are wide open okay so you are so confident and you are so powerful you are someone who is very close to the spiritual world trust me okay you can literally manifest whatever you want and you probably are on the verge of realizing your powers you probably are on the verge of realizing who you truly are you're trying to increase your soul power you're trying to increase the connection with the spiritual world okay maybe some of you are doing a lot of meditation maybe some of you are chanting mantras maybe some of you are you know whatever you believe in wherever your faith is okay you are doing some religious stuff or maybe you are doing something you know uh emotional well you're doing something to improve your emotional well-being improve your spiritual well-being okay and trust me aquarius you are only growing now no one and nothing can stop you from growth okay your enemies will have no choice but to watch you grow okay universe has bestowed you with so many resources how to use those resources is up to you okay you have knowledge you have talent you have power okay you have you will have money or you already have money okay how to use those resources universe has left that to you so you better know that your best time has come okay and you start acting in that direction and if i have to talk about love you know what love will automatically happen you can manifest whoever you want love will automatically happen it will fall in place nothing and no one can stop you from finding the true love of your life and i what i feel with that with that nine of pentacles and the magician is maybe you are of a tendency that you want to know your own self worth plus a uh, first you want to know what all you can achieve and then you want to want to find the right kind of a soulmate for yourself okay you don't want to end up getting married without knowing your own self worth okay so as far as as far as your person is concerned we have is ace of pentacles the fool and four of swords your past person is thinking a lot about you okay you may be hearing certain songs you may be seeing a lot of number synchronicities and yes you may be seeing a lot of 11 11 by the way okay uh, you may be seeing a lot of 11 11 you may be seeing a lot of triple one you may be seeing a lot of 9 9 you may be seeing midnight 00 four zeros okay there are definitely some new beginnings that are that are about to happen for you okay and i don't see you're going to remain uh, i mean you are enjoying your singlehood but singlehood i don't think so is going to continue for uh, you know in 2022 in 2022 maybe max by uh i don't want to use max maybe for majority of you you are going to find your person by by mid of 2022 you can find before that also you can find after that also but i'm saying for majority of you i don't see i don't see you are you are going to stay single for long because you are you are coming across as this abundant person you have no freaking idea how many people you're going to you're going to attract towards yourself okay you will and you are this magician okay so you have some kind of an aura and your aura automatically attracts many people automatically many people become interested in you okay so with that four of swords it's it's like mm, your person is thinking about you i'll be honest over here aquarius they still have someone else in their life but they're contemplating to leave that person okay they are contemplating to leave that person and take a leap of faith towards you they they do have someone in their life right now okay and they are thinking very thoroughly about what they should do is it is it too late to come towards you i don't know probably yes okay probably yes because you are coming across us you are coming in this energy of 10 of wands where you are ready to drop anyone who troubled you and that includes your past person as well okay i mean yes 
you 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 did love this person a lot in the past but hey at the end of the day this person did trouble you okay and even if we say like none of the relationships are perfect look at the end of the day you there is always a thin line which one person should not cross okay which that if crossing that line usually triggers not so good feelings about the other person okay so it's like when do you cross that line by disrespecting others by disrespecting continuously when you cross that line by putting someone else uh, by putting you in a third party okay so it's like maybe not once twice thrice but multiple times this person did cross the line and i don't think so aquarius you are someone like uh, you give one chance and you draw the conclusion right away like i don't want this person this person has crossed the line and i'm not going to entertain this person i'm very sure you have given this person multiple chances okay you gave this person multiple chances and then probably you decided to walk away from this person and now you are coming in that 10 of wands energy you did wait even after separation what i'm sensing is because you are coming across a single you haven't entertained anyone else you did wait for this person to come back but is it too late probably yes because you are now in this 10 of wands energy where you are ready to drop off any unnecessary burden okay and now that you are ready to drop off the unnecessary burden this person is thinking to come back because obviously they are sensing this energy that you are on the verge of moving away you're on the verge of moving on this person is going to make a make a reappearance in your life but aquarius you have to be careful i mean i am not demotivating you uh from reunion it it is like you have to listen to your soul self okay you have to listen to your your mind body and your soul you have to listen to your intuition if your intuition is guiding you to go back to this person very well go away go go back to that person reunite with that person okay learn to listen to yourself it is very very important to listen to yourself you have no idea like your your life will almost become perfect if you learn to listen to yourself okay page of pentacles someone is coming towards you with an offer i don't i mean look i see multiple people getting attracted towards you okay so there is a possibility that you will have many offers king of swords and five of swords so someone from the past is going to come back and you are you are acting in a defensive manner because you do you don't want to entertain most likely okay and it's rather than entertaining anyone from the past it's it's more about it's more about you are trying to guard your energy it's more about you don't want any kind of infiltrations in your energy you don't want anyone any unwanted person to trespass your energy zone energetic zone if if like i get disturbed if an unwanted person if an unwanted energy trespasses my energetic zone i don't like that <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> if I am communicating energetically to someone like stay away from me and in spite of that if someone is trying to trespass my energetic zone, I don't like that. I am I become like this. <laughs> I become a grumpy grumpy female, okay? <laughs> and and yeah, I mean then then I become but I I I sometimes I do get pissed off like in spite of communicating why someone is trying to trespass my energetic zone okay as much as i love people that i that i i like and i want them to enter enter my life i don't hate anyone hate is a very harsh word but i get pissed off when some unwanted people try to enter my energetic zone because i'm very protective of my energetic zone i guard my energetic zone to a large extent okay and uh, being an aquarius of course we all are very sensitive people right we we did we do we do sense the energy is pretty fast okay well, you can say it's uh, you can say either it is a blessing or either it is a curse okay so because of the fact that we we people keep on uh, experiencing the energies very fast and very soon we we are always on the alert mode energetically right and that's 
yeah our re- reactions depend when when someone unwanted or some loving person is trying to enter our life okay trying to enter enter our zones anyways being an aquarius i'm sure you are understanding what i'm trying to say so i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment on below let's see the love notes you are adored okay people are admiring you and loving you it's not as if you need anyone you don't need anyone to make yourself happy hubba hubba it's it's to know that dreamy look of deep soulful love you have sometimes seen in the eyes of another as they have gazed in your own expect a lot more of it you're going to meet your soulmate very soon you're going to meet you are manifesting your soulmate okay love doesn't have to mean near okay someone from a far of distance is coming your way your soulmate let me tell you aquarius the kind of energy i'm getting your soulmate your next person is not staying in your country or in your city or in your state they stay far away from you you are being watched by loving eyes people are watching you okay love is never in vain you you never know who is watching you sometimes the good is hidden you glow we beam you know what's trying to tell you hey keep smiling be happy we don't like you when you are not happy whenever you are happy we also beam okay so it's a message from universe all right i hope this resonates uh, hit like share and subscribe bye bye then